everyone, welcome to today's video and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. Today I'm doing a massive closet clear out. If you haven't been following along, I am moving shortly and my clothing situation right now, it, you can't even see from that angle. It's awful. The reason this has happened is because I haven't actually put my summer clothes away. I just started getting my Christmas clothes, Christmas? Winter autumn clothes out. Didn't put my summer clothes away and there's just no space. So today I'm going to sort through, put away my summer clothes, pass on the bits that I don't wear, put them on my Depop and I'll be donating some of them as well. I basically have to clear out so I am not taking an excessive amount of clothing with me when I move. So I just want to keep the best of the best. I have a lot of clothes. I love clothes. Fashion is part of my job. I have pieces that I've collected and keep for years and then I also have kind of trend-led pieces that maybe I tried and they don't suit me so I'll want to pass them on but I will also try and link as many items down below that are still in stock. A lot of the things that I wear are from places like And Other Stories, Levi's, things that are classic and they just kind of have year after year so you should be able to get a lot of the key pieces still like my knitwear and my jackets and accessories and yes this is going to be a very big task, but it needs to be done. I do just want to say, if you don't already subscribe to my channel, now's probably a great time to do so. I'm currently renovating a new home, which I'm so excited about, but because I can't move into it because of the renovations, I am also moving. There's a lot going on in my life right now. I'm really excited to share it. I hope you're excited to kind of join me on my journey. So if that sounds like your kind of thing, along with a bit of fashion, beauty, travel, food, <laughs> then make sure you subscribe. Also give this video a thumbs up if you'd like to see me do a kind of closet unboxing, reorganizing, setting up kind of situation when I move, which will be very soon. So maybe I'll do that in the new year if you'd like to see it, but give it a thumbs up so I know whether to do that or not. So this is the situation. It is all clean. It just has nowhere to go. And I also have my clothing rail, which you probably saw previously. If there's anything that you don't see me mention in this video that you're like, Emily, I know you own that. Where is it? Or I know you recently got this. Where is it? It's probably on my new in rail in my office or in the wash. So there's definitely not everything is in this room right now, but a lot of the things that I need to go through, I've got pretty much all of my jackets over there. I have to go through all the drawers, the wardrobe, everything. <laughs> I feel so tiny. This is so funny because before I ever started my YouTube channel, I used to like stand in my bedroom and give like, closet tours that I wasn't actually filming but I'd stand there in my head and I'd be like so guys in this wardrobe this is here and now like I do this I've been doing this for like seven years and it's like oh I don't know it's really cool so these wardrobes are a mess they're not actually like that full because I stopped putting things back in because I was like oh I need to have a sort so I've got my dresses my trousers and then my kind of shirts casual t-shirts and then it's color coordinated and then I don't know if you can see down the bottom I'm not too sure if you can oh just yeah uh, that means sorting because that is just a bunch of stuff. The job felt really enjoyable before I hit record and now I'm like, oh, I don't know. Okay, I feel like we should start methodically and get the stuff down from the top, get it out, and then I can sort because a light, for example, this can just be put out of the way because this is full of my nice dresses and they don't need to come out. However, there is a couple of them that I'm going to want to take with me when I move and a couple of them that I'm going to keep here. So that's kind of, I'm also sorting out for things that I want to keep and don't want to keep, but I'm also sorting for things that I'm going to take with me when I move versus leave here versus put in storage. And this is my Invisalign. <laughs> Step one, complete. We're all about little milestones here. I think you should pat yourself on the back for even the smallest things. Oh my gosh, I'm so embarrassed. This is so bad. <laughs> this is the type of things that I hoard, okay? I, when the new Mary Poppins came out, I was privileged enough to go for lunch with the cast. I went to the premiere as well at the Royal Apple Hall. It was unbelievable. Went for lunch with Lin-Manuel Miranda, Emily Blunt. It was just a memory, like, that I will never, ever forget and I'll cherish forever and just, yeah. And they gave me <laughs> an umbrella from the movie, an exact replica of like the prop. And I can't get rid of it. And this should not be in my wardrobe. This should be in my storage unit because I do not need this to hand. Look how cool this is. But I will never get rid of this ever. And I just don't know why it's in the back of my wardrobe because I'm not gonna use it. Is this annoying you? Do I need to move the plant? I might go and put her in the bath. I feel like this video is just way too chaotic already. Welcome to the bottom. Okay, this is okay. These are my bikinis. So that's easy because they can just go away. But then it gets confusing because these are also bikinis. I'm gonna put another light on because I just found one. It's a bit dark, much better. I'm going to take these out of the room because obviously I'm not gonna get rid of these. And then the, oh, the umbrella also. This is absolutely one of those situations where it's gonna get a whole lot worse before it gets any better. So I 
think what I'm gonna do is try and get the things I definitely know I'm keeping and remove them from the space. Like my Chloe bag and the long shop inside it. They're going nowhere. So I may as well just remove those from the situation and then, I mean, they don't even live in here actually. So they're supposed to live in the office, but I don't actually know why they're in here. I also forgot to say, not only am I making a pile of things that I'm keeping, a pile of things, well not a pile, but you know what I mean, separating it into things that I'm taking with me, that I'm leaving here, that I'm putting in storage, I also need like a costume wardrobe. So if you haven't been following along, I have started a new channel called Welcome Home and we follow other people's renovations of their properties and film house tours and there's some really exciting other bits coming and for that I dress in a way that day to day I wouldn't necessarily dress. It's like having a work wardrobe isn't it? I need like a work wardrobe but I'm gonna call it my costume <laughs> wardrobe just for fun. Why not? You should do that too. If you have a work wardrobe, call it your costume wardrobe because we put this costume on in the day to perform and then you get to dress like yourself on weekends. Anyway, back to why we're actually here. So again, these have never been worn out, but I'm keeping them because I love them. Now, a lot of the things in here are kind of away for summer things. So I've got my crochet dress, which again is never leaving my wardrobe. And then in here, I've got my shoes that don't have a home. Some of my favorite shoes actually. Look at these, I got these for Valentine's Day. One year, I think 20, 2019? Yeah, must have been 2019. How beautiful. I adore them. There's a matching bag that you can't get anymore, you have to get it on the secondhand market that matches them and I would really like to get that bag someday so I can wear them as like a pair. But there's like many more bags that I'm like wanting to get first. So I've never bought it. But these are all gonna stay as is for now because they are just, yeah, they have nowhere else to go. But when I start packing to leave, I will pick what I wanna take with me from the box. Workout shorts that I never ever wear. I would always choose to wear like football shorts over those so they can be moved on. This skirt from Zara, I love, but it never fits me properly. And every time I put it on, I'm like, oh no, like it doesn't fit me. But I do really like it tucked in with knitwear at this time of year, but then it's cold. However, when I'm going, I may be able to wear that. So I'm going to leave that out. These shorts I always really wanted to love and I actually wore them to my sister's baby announcement but they just crease so easily so I never wear them so they're going to be passed on. Oh my skirt! I miss my denim skirt phase. I had a denim skirt phase where I wore my denim skirts all, oh they're shorts, all the time. And then, oh I love this Zara skirt. I don't know how I'd wear it now though. My longer Levi shorts, I'm going to try those on, they'll go on the try on pile. They're not, not to get rid of but just whether I want to take them with me or if I want to put them away in storage. My denim shorts, again, I'm gonna try those on. And then my comfy Levi shorts. These are the comfiest pair of shorts in the world, but they're super short, so I definitely won't wear these until next summer. Uh, black shorts, again, I have black shorts that I like more than these now, but these are quite formal, so I'll try those on. By the way, I will try all of them on in the video at the end. My And Other Stories shorts, these are really cool, but I won't wear them until next season. I bought this bikini at Jack Wills in Burnham Market because I went to Norfolk with my family and we were going to the beach and I didn't have a bikini. So I don't know why it's in here because I have a bikini bikini bag. It should go into the bikini bag. Yeah, I'm gonna have to try those on, but I'm not gonna do that on camera. I am so sorry if this video is stupidly long. I feel like I should have done it as a live and just sat on a Sunday afternoon and done it with everyone, but that would have taken about six hours, but at least you could have dipped in and dipped out. Okay, this robe is so super special to me. It is a L'Oreal robe, and if you didn't know, I used to work super closely with L'Oreal, and it says my name on it, and it was in the basket just in case I needed it to shoot anything with, because when I would shoot L'Oreal campaigns. I really like to wear my, my little robe, but I'm gonna pop this in my storage unit because I can't see myself wearing it anytime soon. And it is one of those things that I absolutely want to keep forever. And then this Le Girls Les Boys little romper. I'm gonna try on. I feel like I always had such high hopes for it, but never reached for it. So we'll try. And then this skirt I bought in Palm Springs during Coachella. I love it. Okay, part one accomplished. We now move on to here. So this just has a reflector in it. Nice, that definitely has a more appropriate storage place. Just for a bit of context, if you're watching this and you're like, what, why? So in my pre-COVID life, I did a lot of events and a lot of traveling and I had a lot of outfits to suit that, which is a lot of these. And I anticipate in my life in the next year or so, I again will have a lot of events and I've already got some weddings booked in. We have a wedding in, uh, I think it's in the Bahamas. So I want to wear this. So, you know, there's dresses that I'm like keeping and holding on to that actually can come to me. Oh! 
<laughs> my gosh. So there's dresses that I'm holding on to for things like that and events that are just super easy to pop on and yeah, so that's why. So a lot of these dresses I will just keep, but I'm like, am I gonna take it? I need to try that on. I just, I actually have to feel good in them though. Like if I don't feel good in them, there's no point in keeping them. Uh, this is a play suit, I wanna try that on. A lot of these things I would have thought I'd have worn this summer, but I haven't, which, <sighs> again, I'm probably gonna have to try most of these on. <gasps> My favorite Levi's, these are the most revealing shorts in the whole entire world. Look how tiny they are. But I've had them since I was about 14 and I adore them. They're going to the storage unit. I'm never getting rid of those. I don't think I will ever get rid of a denim piece ever again. I think they will all keep coming around into fashion and out of fashion. I think I'll just keep them forever and just rotate them. This is cool. Okay, I need to try this on because this is very short and I am not very short. This I got in my charity shopping video. Really like it. See, this is why I'm like, where do these things go? How do these things fit? In. I'm getting a bit overwhelmed because I'm emotionally attached to a lot of these things and okay I'm not gonna wear that again that can be moved on yeah I'm emotionally attached to a lot of these things despite the fact I haven't worn them in a very long time does anyone else get emotionally attached to clothing or is it just me like this I wore on Thanksgiving and I had a really good Thanksgiving that year I mean I've only celebrated it that one year but <laughs> It was really good. Oh, it's so hard. Okay, this I'm not gonna wear. This can be moved on. This I'm gonna keep. This is a festive dress, so that can be pulled out for the Christmas season. This I'm not gonna wear. I can feel it's got the tags on. I don't like the belt. Although it would have been very me like three years ago, I'm not going to wear that, so that's easy. And I don't think I'm going to wear this either. I just think it's a bit, it's not my style. I mean, I can try it on for you, but I don't think I'm gonna wear it, so there's no point keeping it. Okay, I'm gonna try this on. This is going to go away in storage it's a summery dress but i love it and i'll keep it forever similarly i'm going to try this on because i think my issue is it's slightly long so i think if i get it taken up slightly i'll wear it this dress has the tags on but i know i really like it so i'm going to keep this out i just haven't had the opportunity to wear it and then this i always envisioned myself wearing on like a luxe holiday it's tula rosa and it just feels like the most amazing fabric so i'm going to keep that and manifest the luxury holiday. Ow, I shouldn't have sat like that. My joints don't work that way. I love my dresses. I think, to be honest, the things in my wardrobe are mainly just my favorite things anyway. So we will see. I mean, here I've got event dresses. So I've got my self-portrait dresses. I might put these on like a rental place because if I'm not going to be using them anywhere I may as well. So how we do this here is I go through every single item of clothing. If that's not what you're into you don't have to watch it. You can fast forward down below on the settings that you can fast forward it to like you know times by two or whatever and then you'll see me talking through it but it will whiz through it. However grab yourself a cuppa. It's gonna be a long video but we're gonna clear it out. We're gonna do it. So firstly Zara dress staple for autumn winter if they bring them back again get one zara i paid a premium for this because it sold out last year and a girl messaged me on instagram like i'm selling one on depop do you want to just buy mine and i was like yeah and uh they were going for silly money but i'm so glad i got it because i love it jack wheels knitted dress i feel like that doesn't really represent me anymore it's really nice and really easy to wear but it's just not quite like i have to wear a bra and i don't wear bras so i just i put it on and i look at my chest and i'm like mm. so that's gonna be depopped and i am moving the hangers out of the way this and other stories jumpsuit was my new year's outfit in 2019 this is an all saints dress which goes under this jumper this caused a lot of controversy because it's green and everyone thought it was black i feel like you can clearly see that it's green this is also green what's black what can i hold next to it that's black you know? I, I don't know. <laughs> it's green. I'm keeping it. We then have Zara dress, which I'm gonna keep because I think I'll end up wearing this in the costume wardrobe, but it doesn't feel like very me anymore. She says I'm wearing a very similar dress, but it's different. This and other stories dress was my Christmas day dress last year. I still love it. And then we have this shirt dress from Zara, which again is brilliant. This is a Revolve dress. Again, great for this time of year. I feel really good in that actually. My All Saints dress, which is just more summery. I need to think about how I could wear this in the autumn to make it work. Maybe I could wear it with my black strip white. No, no, that's too dark. Maybe docks but then what coat 
would I wear it with? My long black coat, maybe. Maybe. I should probably try this on and decide whether it goes away for the winter or not. This should definitely be going away for the winter. This is my Under the Stories play suit. Oh, my favourite dress that's staying out. And then I just have my Zara dress. This is great. This is a similar concept to like the Jack Wills one, but it's longer. And I don't have to wear a bra, so I just feel more like myself. This is Urban. I adore this, but I feel as though there's no point me keeping it out for the winter. Actually, this would be cute paired with a knitted jumper in a hotter climate, so I'm going to keep that out. We're going to get on to some more fun things. This is a brand new Melville dress. I bought this at charity shop. I haven't worn it yet so i'm gonna put this away into the storage unit pile it is a lovely dress though so i will be keeping it zara dress this again i don't think i'll wear until next summer so that can go to storage again <laughs> summer dress i told you i haven't put any of my summer dresses away and this is definitely a summer dress this is again revolve i love that revolve do have some really nice pieces it's just a bit hit or miss zara yellow dress that can go away for the summer. I'm not going to be brave enough to wear that in winter. Again, Zara dress, this is going on Depop because I can only wear it with a, <laughs> this is so embarrassing. It's not embarrassing actually, I don't care. But a Victoria's Secret bombshell bra is the only thing that fills this. Otherwise it gapes. And I just look down and I'm like, <sighs> So that's going on Depop. We then have my red Zara dress that I always wear abroad. I've had this for literally five or six years and I adore it. And then another and other store, no, another All Saints dress that has a matching t-shirt. I should actually store those as pairs, I think. Onto some of my lighter dresses. This is Topshop. I feel like this can go into the costume wardrobe. This, actually I didn't wear this summer. I'm gonna keep it. It's Zara, I really like it, but I think maybe if I don't wear that next summer, I'll pass it on. My Reformation dress, I don't think I'll wear that this season. So that can go into storage. Again, another summer dress that can go into storage. And my lovely and other stories, linen dress, which has been lovely, freshly washed and ironed, which feels really wrong to then go and put it away. I just don't think there's any chance that I'll be wearing it this season. I just don't think there will. I don't, there's no way I can make this autumnal. It's a long v-neck. Zara dress, again, I adore, but I won't be wearing that this season, so that can go in storage. And again, another one that I won't be wearing this season that can go in storage, and this hanger is not correct. This is where things get a bit jumbled and shouldn't have, because it's not how I conduct my wardrobe but the jumper's there, don't know why. And then we have my Gorge Love Shack Fancy Dress, which is not seasonally appropriate, so that can go into storage. And then again, this can go into the costume wardrobe because it's a bit fancier, a bit more formal. Moving on to some trousers. I feel really bad putting these into storage. These are my gorgeous and other stories linen trousers because they've just been freshly washed and ironed and I feel like they're not gonna look very fresh for very long. My mango jeans are staying out. I wear these every season. We then have, oh, this is so tricky. So these are and other stories trousers, which I love, but they look a bit like clown trousers on me now because they're not tapered enough. I'm going to keep them until next season and we'll see if I wear them in spring, summer. By next season, I mean next, like, spring summer season obviously we have winter to come and then we get on to my denim my Levi's jeans I will never ever get rid of I adore them one of my friends doesn't like them and she's made up a really horrible name for them so I will never wear them in front of her again but I do love them and then I have my Reformation Liza jeans if I had to keep one pair of jeans it would be these they are just perfection we then have my Topshop Jamie's I feel like you can't have a wardrobe without a pair of Jamie jeans if you don't own a pair of Jamie jeans I highly recommend they are fabulous high waist skinny jeans they're perfect for tucking into Wellington boots or Doc Martens. I have my green Reformation jeans. These need altering, so I'm going to pop them on the pile to get altered. I have a few things that I need to get altered, so I'd like to get those done as soon as possible. These are also Jamie jeans, and I've worn these a ton in the past, but I feel like they're a bit grey now. I might try and dye them a slightly darker. Like, I don't mind, like, a washed-out black jean, but these are, like, grey. Yeah, I'm gonna dye those. I then have my Zara straight jeans, which, again, need altering. As you can see, I've been wearing them with a ribbon on the back, pulling them together, but they are fabulous jeans. I love them. And then I have this pair of leather trousers, which they're faux leather. They're vegan leather. I really like them, but I think I'm going to have to try them on because again, I don't even know if you can alter trousers like this, but if they don't fit me, I'm going to pop them on my Depop. I feel like this is the most brutal clear out I'm having, but it probably looks more brutal because I'm actually putting half of it away in storage. <laughs> Next up, we have my mango leather trousers. These are literally the best thing I've ever purchased. And then we have my Aritzia trousers, which I purchased 
list. Before the mango ones, they don't fit me as well. I'm gonna try them on again because they are obviously a slightly different style. I think maybe I should have sized down in these but didn't want to. I don't know, I'll try them on. I think they're also slightly short. I then have these trousers from House of CB that I've never worn but they're like flared trousers. I'm gonna keep them because I do really like them. And then again, Zara trousers. They've got the tags on, I have worn them before, but they were broken. So they sent me a new pair and I had to send the other pair back. So they are fresh, ready for autumn, winter. Oh my goodness, I haven't worn these in ages. I was obsessed with these jeans. These are the ASOS, what are they called? They are literally the nicest style of jeans. I just haven't worn these in ages. And like I said, I'm just not loving this style. I then have a pair of formal white trousers, again, Probably, is that makeup? Maybe I need to get those dry clean, but definitely keeping those because they're very handy to have. Another pair of trousers that are really cool for this time of year, they're Zara. And then this and other story skirt needs to be altered because it is too big, but I really wanna wear it. So I'm gonna see if my seamstress can alter that one. Onto my shorts. So this is a pair of black formal shorts from Zara. These are really nice. I'm gonna keep these out. I'm not gonna put them away in storage because I think I may use them at some points. They're gonna go into like the costume wardrobe. And then this velvet skirt from And Other Stories. Again, I adore. I need to try this on though. And finally, my And Other Stories leather skirt, which is going nowhere ever. It is the coolest skirt and it fits like an absolute dream. If you're looking for like a really nice leather skirt, then have a look on And Other Stories. I don't know if they still sell this, but they tend to bring their things just around again, season after, like year after year. And fingers crossed, this will come back. Oh, and then we have those Zara shorts in beige colour, which I've worn so often. But these are gonna, st should they stay out? Yeah, I'm keeping these out. On to the other wardrobe. So, firstly, I don't know why this is here, but I love it. And I'm actually also gonna keep this out because although it's quite summery, I do think I'll wear it this time of year. This and other stories cardigan, gonna keep out, really like it. And then I think these shirts I'm going to put away in my storage unit because I can't see myself wearing these until next summer. They're just very summery. These were actually all from eBay and charity shops and they were like the best finds. When I went to Ibiza in the summer, I literally lived in the yellow one. We have my check shirts, which I adore this time of year. None of these are going anywhere. I'll be keeping all of these out. <laughs> have this pajama set that I always told myself I would wear and feel really bougie in and I just never wear it so that's going to be passed on. My Marge cardigan that I overwear is obviously staying. I then have my juicy track suits which I will never ever get rid of but I also never ever wear. Maybe they should go into storage then because I don't actually reach for them. Yes I'm going to put those into storage. I have a cardigan from And Other Stories which is perfect for this time of year. Another And Other Stories cardigan. This one has little dinosaurs. I love it. This is an m and knit that I, it's cashmere and it's just so lovely for this time of year. I wish I had it in a larger size. I feel like every time I put this on, I feel like it's a bit small. So I'll try this on and see how I feel. My Bauman Wolf t-shirt is very cool. I wear this as a t-shirt dress, I like that. Zara top, this I think also can go into the costume wardrobe because it's more formal and I won't wear that day to day. This top I broke because this is supposed to be pleated and now every time I wear it, it just looks wrong. And because everyone had this top from Zara, everyone knows I made that mistake. But I do really like it. I'm keeping it. This Stella McCartney spaceship top is a bit of me. I really like that. And then this Under the Stories knitted crop, which is just a not really very me, but I'm gonna keep it in the costume wardrobe for when I'm wearing a high waist. That is perfect to wear with this skirt that I've got that I'll show you that I got from Zara recently. Okay, we then have my vest. I've got my Gucci vest and other stories vest. I wear those to death. And then this is a Zara vest. I really like this. I don't tend to reach for it, but maybe this season I will. And then a brown one from and other stories. We then get into some lighter kind of options. I've got my super soft, cozy, uh, Abercrombie and Fitch bodysuit. That's what it's called. I love that. I have a beige one as well, a cream one, sorry. This is my rosy row top that can go into my bag of like pieces that I'll keep forever. This is going. I How many times do I have to pick this up and go, oh, I don't know. No, I've had enough of you. You don't make me feel good when I put you on and I'm just not doing that anymore. Okay, this from Zara, I thought I would wear. It washes me out. I look really weird in it. I wore it in my gift guide last Christmas and every Every time I see that gift guide video, I just cringe because I'm like, oh, this is H&M. I had really high hopes for this, but I never wore it, which is a shame. But I'm gonna keep it in the costume wardrobe because it's perfect for that. This I have kept year after year after year. And I think the reason I don't wear it is because it doesn't, like it's too champagne-y to wear with black. So you have to wear white. And 
how often do you actually wear white to like an event? Gosh, I'm being really good. I bought this from Nasty Gal because I saw someone on Instagram wearing it and it doesn't look as good on me. I don't think it looks very good on me. These vest tops are just really handy. This one is Zara. I wear these a ton in the summer, but again, actually, this one's a very funny color on me. I feel like I prefer my, yes, no, I pre <laughs> it's so hard. Cause I don't want to get rid of it for the sake of it and then buy another one like in a year's time. I'll put it in the storage unit and we'll see how we feel. If I miss it, I'll get it out. If I don't miss it, we'll move it on. This top from Urban Outfitters, I love, but all I think every time I wear it is wow that would look so much better if I had bigger boobs so if you have bigger boobs they still do this it's just the most gorgeous top I think because the model they showed it on had just literally the best boobs and it looked really good and it made her just look so cool and I was like oh not me but I'm keeping it because I do like it this All Saints top, am I going to wear it in the winter? No, that can go into storage. My mum's going to be so confused. Um, This Hollister top, I keep year after year after year and I never wear it. With these tops, I keep them year after year and I never, oh well I wear the Abercrombie one. I never wear, but I feel like this is definitely costume wardrobe material. This is costume wardrobe material. This shirt dress I'm keeping out, I think it's lovely, it's mango. Again, costume wardrobe material. This is what the top's supposed to look like. Yeah, I did that myself. This, again, I find it hard. Like, what would you wear this with? Like, black black jeans? Sure. But then, like, what shoes? And then suddenly it's, like, chunky and v- I think it's the v-neck that throws me off. I'm gonna put that in the costume wardrobe because I will wear that, but not day to day. Like, I wouldn't pick it. But I feel like if I have to get dressed for something and look a certain way, that would work. I love this. It's inside out. So if you definitely tried this on. It's too casual to put in the costume wardrobe. And then this, again, is staying forever. But I might put this in my storage unit because, again, I'm not going to wear it. But it's one of those pieces that I will keep forever. It was a gift from my big sister. I then have three and others. Oh, why do I keep calling All Saints and other stories? Three All Saints tops, which look exactly the same, but they're not. This one and this one are identical. And I used to keep one in Los Angeles, one in London. And so I just wouldn't have to take as much stuff with me. And then this one goes over the top of that dress. So I'm going to put it there. So I don't need two of these, but I do wear them all the time. So I will keep both of them. I then have this Zara top, which I adore. A vest. I don't know why I'm keeping, I don't actually wear this. Like that's It's got padded shoulders. I'm going to pass that on. I love how I don't class vest tops as too summery. Why is this dirty? It's got makeup on it, but it's been ironed. Uh, Zara H&M vest top. I live in those. And then this I've been keeping for years from Urban Outfitters, but I don't wear it. So that can go. I'm being so brutal. I'm so proud of myself. Uh, again, this is another Zara one I just won't ever get rid of. And then this Reformation top, which looks super summery. And maybe, yeah, I won't wear it till next summer, but I want to keep it out because it's one of my favorites. And I think I potentially could layer it up. As you can see, it's actually, you might not be able to see, it's become significantly darker. I just had to go and send something over. So I took a break. So I'm going to call it a day for today. I obviously still have everything on the side there to sort, but what I'm going to do is take everything that I've kind of sorted and put it into specific places, give myself some more room, and we shall continue in the morning. So I will see you in the morning. Hey everyone, it's now the weekend. It has been a few days. As always, life got in the way. I had to run off to London to work and everything literally stayed in position. You haven't missed a thing. I was the one missing, but now we're back. I'm gonna smash it out. I need to do this today because tomorrow I want to spend the day getting everything on Depop so then Monday morning I can have it all shipped out. We're gonna do this in like a leisurely manner. I feel like the hardest bit has been done, although we need to tackle the drawers. And then I can kind of show you where we're at. Like there's literally piles in the bathroom. I feel awful. I need to like get it out of my mom's house but yeah coffee time I'm back and the more I think about it the more excited I am to do this clear out because to be honest I hoard a lot of crap that I shouldn't hoard I'm very emotionally attached to my clothes like let me find an example there's definitely things in here that I literally actually that was the perfect example there was one thing that I put into my costume wardrobe <laughs> work wardrobe that I know I'll never wear it like this right realistically I'm keeping this because hopefully one day I'll have boobs and can wear it is that ever gonna happen I've already been through puberty I've already been through the second like boost you get when apparently your boobs grow again in your early 20s didn't know about that I skipped that one too anyway but see I, there I am putting it back in my wardrobe why am I like this but yeah the clear out's necessary I'm very excited I feel like we should next tackle these also, if you see my underwear at any point in this video, I'm so sorry. I'm not used to wearing low rise things and I love to wear my underwear on my hips. So it's like not today and it feels really weird and I feel like you're probably going to see it and I'm really sorry, but I love the trousers. So 
this is all clean, freshly washed stuff. So realistically, this should all be things that is just gonna go back into my wardrobe. Hopefully, we'll see. This, mango, brand new, keeping, love it. This should go in here, perfect. Hollister hooded hoodie, keeping. New 20s tall top, absolutely keeping. I have the new Zara Co Ward. This needs to be altered, so I'm gonna put that on the pile to be altered. Mum's put things on my pile, so I don't know what pile's what now. Blazer from that Co Ward is absolutely fine. So that can just be hung up in its place. My um, Revivo cardigan, this is literally brand new. Keeping it, of course. Again, another striped jumper, this is Mango. Keeping it. Lulu leggings, keep. Zara skirt, this needs to be altered, it's too big. And other stories, dress, this was out because I was trying it on for like a New Year's thing. What do you think? I love it. It comes back every year, it fits like a dream. I actually, when I first bought it, it got stolen. I left, well not, <clears throat> partly my fault. I left it on the checkouts at Sainsbury's, left for like five seconds, walked back and it was gone. Hoodie, that can stay. New and other stories, knitted jumper, of course that can stay. I was wearing these the other week and it was, well no, actually it was November 1st and I was like, I'm wearing my Christmas pajamas. I went downstairs and my dad was like, are they supposed to be like that? And it's because they were so short and I looked at him and I was like, this is your fault. You did this to me. And he burst out laughing. But honestly, I have never been able to find pajama bottoms that fit me. Like I buy them in a couple sizes up so they like fit a bit better, but they're still too short. <laughs> It's his fault. I got it from him. Pajamas. I'm gonna pass these on to I think my sister. I wore them once and I prefer an oversized t-shirt as pajamas. I can't do actual pajamas unless it's like those tartan ones. Like I like that kind of brushed cotton feel, but I don't like that kind of stretchy feel. My new Levi's rib cage jeans. I have wanted a pair of Levi's rib cage jeans for the longest time, but I was always between sizes and now I am one size. And it's literally the best thing because Levi's jeans fit me now properly and it's so good. Oh, I love this. Urban Outfitters. Is this the in, not the indie dress. What's this called? I don't know what this is called. It's an Urban Outfitters dress though. I got this in a small and not an extra small and it is a bit larger than I'd like it to be, but I'm not going to get rid of it because I really like it. Zara bodysuit. I mean, I never wear this, but I feel like it's one of those things that's really handy to have, but I don't wear it. Okay, no, I should just, that's going on Depop. Uh, white Zara. That was a really brave decision. I'm really proud of that one. Okay. Zara dress. Love it. Keeping it forever. My River Island straight jeans. Again, a obsessed for this time of year. They're like the perfect denim. Guys, I'm thinking it might be time to pass on the pull and bear jeans. I just don't wear them. And when I do pull them out to wear, I just don't feel very cool in them. I don't know if they're too different for me. I mean, how would I like what with this crop top? But then I just don't feel like it's that cooler outfit. I think if I got rid of them and then one day wanted to wear them, I'd like feel really like a lot of regret. And other stories, cute little top that'd be staying forever. Mine, Metallica top. This gets me into a lot of trouble because people online like to tell me I don't know any of the songs. Dish top that's staying. These were like my most worn. Free people play suit, my little ASOS knitted uh, top, mango striped top. These are all like my everyday clothes because they're like freshly washed. All Saints crop top, my Zara trousers, I love these. They have these like every year. If you're looking for smarter trousers, then they are great. I wish I got them in other colors actually. These I'm gonna pop on Depop. I don't know, like they're not washed very well. They're just too big for me. I was between sizes when I ordered and I ordered the size up and I've since learned that when buying gym gear, you're supposed to size down, not size up because they stretch over time and yeah. Gilly Hicks, how cute is this? I bought this set from Gilly Hicks before I went to Ibiza, ready to wear it and work out on the balcony and feel like a queen and doesn't fit me. So that is also going on Depop. I missed the return date, I'm such an idiot. And then I got this Adnola set for a video and I just haven't worn it and I just don't think I'm going to wear it. So I'd rather pop it on Depop for someone to have from new than for me to have it in my wardrobe, wear it once and then never wear it again. So that is also going on Depop. You know, when you just make a bad judgment with something, like I really thought I was gonna wear it. Ralph Lauren shirt, of course staying. I'll pop that with the other ones. I'm gonna put this on Depop. This is the girl in the sun top in size small. I was supposed to order matching shorts with this. I mean, maybe I should try it with some shorts and see how it feels, but every time I put this on it just feels big and baggy and I don't know what the word is like if I'm wearing something like this I feel like I want to feel quite feminine and floaty and it just doesn't feel floaty my essential well no it's not mine it's my boyfriend's essential hoodie but it is mine now Topshop Jamie jeans an absolute staple they will never leave me this <laughs> Zeppelin top was actually in Los Angeles for like a year and a half never like I didn't couldn't wear it I love it Lululemon leggings of course staying forever and then these are the bottoms to those pajamas that I'm going to give my big sister because actually she could wear these on her wedding like the 
night before her wedding. That would be really cute. What else do we have on here? I don't know what's in this bag. This was just in my wardrobe and has been for a long time. These are Juicy Couture socks. And when I was younger, my friends and I would go to Vista. And this one time, we specifically decided we wanted to buy one thing from every single shop we went into. So like, Kath Kidston, we bought a pen. Juicy Couture, we bought these socks. These are like 16 pounds or something stupidly expensive for socks. And yeah, every time we went into the shop, we bought something. And I had this picture, I don't know if I'll be able to find it, of us sat in my friend's living room with all these bags. And we just felt like absolute queens. Calf high socks. I'm going to keep these. There's no point getting rid of them because they're the type of thing that you need every so often. These are from my Riverdale video. I think that's why they're in the bag because I'm like, oh, I'll use them someday. But I'm not going to use them like next week. So we took a quick intermission. My back really hurt and I was like, ow, what's going on? And then I'm sure you can guess what happened. And then I felt really sorry for myself. So I went and got myself uh, some more hotel chocolate. Anyway, onto the drawer. I'm really not enjoying this today. I'm really not in the mood, but I need to do it because it's stressing me out. And I think it's because it's stressing me out that I'm not in the mood. But I put YouTube on the TV instead of the fireplace to uh, encourage me. This drawer, I think this is basically things that I wanna keep. This is the black version of the white top that I'm wearing spot on. My And Other Story shorts that my mama cut for me, love them. The shorts that match my And Other Stories jacket, they can go in my work wardrobe. What's this? Oh, my And Other Story shorts. They can go in the storage unit for summer clothing. I never wear this, but I feel like maybe it's because I've not really spent any time in a warm climate, but I really like it. So I'm gonna keep that. Bikini can go in the bikini bag. I think this is another All Saints. My hair, oh. Another All Saints crop top that can be hung up. Okay, I'm getting the piles really mixed up. This is a Quicksilver, I think? Rip curl top, I love this. I was wearing this in Cornwall. I don't think I'll wear that till next summer, so that can go in the storage unit. Cute little Jack Wheels crop. I used to wear this all the time, and it's a great one for like layering when you're going for walks in the winter, but I just think I haven't reached for it in like two years, so I will pass that one on. My Levi's skirt, black skirt, that can go away. I'm kind of over the whole denim skirt vibe, but I'm sure it will come back round. Well, I'm gonna let Sophie wear this for now. This is a Victoria's Secret pink tie-dye top. I don't know if she bought it for me or if I bought it for her. I know it was a gift from one of us to one of us, but it's ended up in my drawer. But it's definitely something that she'll want to wear too, so I'll let her have that instead of it being put away in storage, it, like, in, because it may as well get used. This. Urban Outfitters top. This is actually my boyfriend's and yeah, I should probably give that back to him. Oh, I got this from Brandy Melville. I wore this a lot at one point. Would it match with? I'm gonna keep this. I feel like this is just really handy. Santa Cruz long sleeve. I feel like at one point this is my real vibe with like shorts, but it's not really my vibe anymore. So I'm gonna pass that on. Okay, so it's been a couple hours and we are really, really getting there. I cleared out all like my underwear drawers and things like that, which I just thought is something you wouldn't wanna see. I've obviously changed. I was going to start trying things on and then I ordered McDonald's and I eight, five chicken select medium meal, nine nugs, and a 99p cheeseburger. So I don't think I'm gonna like the way I look in any of the clothes right now. So I'm gonna wait till the morning. However, I have just found another bag dress, another bag, another box of dresses, and my coats that I need to go through. But other than that, I'm pretty much there. I will show you the state of like the wardrobes and things like that, because they're pretty bare. And I'll show you the piles that are being put in certain places, and I'll show you the Depop pile too. Okay, let's do the coats real quick. This one, I'm gonna pop on Depop, because I haven't worn these for a few years. It's Jack Wills, I love them, I think they're amazing. But I just think I've kind of, well, but they're not, oh, see, then I'm like, oh, should I keep them? Because are they, are they the type of thing you keep forever? But you can't really wear knitwear under them because they're quite fitted. Why do I do this? Why am I like, yeah, I'm getting rid of it and then I pick it up and I'm like, oh, but no. Okay, I'll keep that because it's fine. They won't take up that much space in the storage unit. But things like this, I've literally never worn this. I think this is under the stories. I bought it with every intention of wearing it. It's just not what I thought it would be. This Jack Wills coat I will be keeping forever. I love it. It was like, I think I got it for something like 40 pounds when it was down from like 200. I love it. Again, you can't really fit much under it, but I really like it and I have a lot of good memories in it. This I wore to death one year. I'm going to pass it on because it's just not my vibe anymore. As with the jeans, I need to try and dye this. I tried it before and it didn't really take, so I need to try a different dye. This is another of those Jack Wills coats. Like it's literally, they're just the, I'm gonna keep them. They're just the best made coats ever. Like the quality is impeccable. And then my Drew House hoodie, obviously keeping. I'm keeping this jacket because I really like it. It's quite an easy basic. And then these two, I'm going to pop 
on Depop. Okay, on to the dresses. This box here is the box of things that I want to try on with you. But like I said, we'll do that in the morning. So I don't actually know what's in this box. I assume summery dresses. Don't think I've had this box out this year, so I can't have missed them that much. Okay, this is Zara. I love this, I'm gonna keep this. It's just a case of remembering that I have it, which is awful. That's the hardest thing when half your clothes are like away. It's like, you know, knowing you have it. This Zara uh, and other stories dress, again, it's a really loved one, good one to have. I'm gonna keep that. This dress here, oh my gosh. Okay, this is a lot of my favorite dresses. This is a House of CB long dress. I'm going to, I don't know why I said it like that, honestly. I feel like you've seen so many different versions of me in this video. The opening version of me was like, Emily who's really put together in her favourite Topshop dress and then it was Emily today in her Dickies trousers and her crop top who didn't really want to be doing the video but I don't know why because in the first day I was like this is my idea of a great time then I came on my period now I look like this <laughs> so <laughs> welcome to my channel anyway yeah that's going in the drawer of things that I'm taking with me uh, when I go away because I will absolutely wear that this is a self portrait dress I wore this to premiere Lion King, which actually now I'm looking at it, it's very appropriate for the Lion King premiere. I hunted for this dress for so, so long. I knew I really wanted it, couldn't find it, and then finally managed to get it in the end. I wore this to my 19th birthday party. It's very nostalgic, it's actually a very lovely uh, Zara play suit, so I'll be keeping that. This is a Bernash dress, which I think sounds like Barbara and Sharon. I didn't know that. This is a jumpsuit from the Outnet. It's lovely. Uh, that needs dry cleaning. And my mother literally took my other dry cleaning yesterday. Which I didn't actually ask her to do. She just did it. So that was very kind of her. Oh, this is a play suit. This is a jumpsuit. I like this a lot, actually. This is the brand Outline. Although it's slightly big, so I might... I'm going to get that tailored, actually, whilst I'm taking literally 10 things to my seamstress. This is another of those Zara... I'm going to try this on. I'm not sure. I feel like I keep it because I'm like it's easy and I know it looks good but like I don't wear it so do I look good in it or do just do I just think it's going to look good and then it doesn't look good this is a top shop jumpsuit and then everything else in here they're pretty much like memorable dresses so I wore this at my million party I haven't tried this on for a while actually I pinned it so it looked shorter at the party this is a house of CB dress that I wore to the MTV EMAs in 2019 I was very excited to wear this actually and I felt really good in it and then my prom dresses in here this is a bunch of like event dresses do you want to see the most stunning needle and thread dresses i'm very picky about my dresses but there's these two here from needle and thread that i just feel like an absolute princess in this is the first one and this one i believe one of these i wore to the mary poppins premiere and the other one i wore to can i think this is the mary yes i wore this one to the mary poppins premiere i adore this needle and thread just fits like an absolute glove and the quality is just phenomenal you know when you get a dress and like it actually feels like the money you paid for it that's what needle and thread feels like for me and i wish i did have a better way to store these but unfortunately this is the best that i have and then this is the dress that i wore to the Cannes film festival in gosh oh look at this 2019 2018 2019 look at this i love this so much actually like i really want to try this on I wish I had a reason to wear this again. And finally, this mango dress that I bought on Regent Street. As you can tell, I literally know. If I don't know where a piece of clothing's from or the story, it's really not worth me keeping because I'm very connected to my clothes. And that sounds really silly to say, but I feel like you get what I mean. I, yeah. Anyway, this is mango. I bought this on Regent Street when uh, my boyfriend and I first started dating. I had an event. It was nothing to do with him. I just remember it was around that time. And I bought it and I've never worn it. And it's such a shame because it's so nice, but it's, it's glittery, but it's matte, not glittery, sequins, but it's matte sequins. So it's almost not like sparkly enough to be like a festive dress, but similarly too festive to wear not around like the holiday season. Oh wow, what does it look like like that? So I think that's literally all of my clothes, to be honest. Okay, I know you'll want to see this. So this is going to the storage unit, storage unit one pile. Yes, it's all in the bathroom. I, mm. this is the Depop pile. It is a very large pile. There's actually two piles. And then this here is 
for, look at what that dress is on my socks. Ew. This is going in my storage unit also. And then I don't know what mum's done with the other bags, but those two other Ikea bags of things going to the storage unit. I think she's put them downstairs. So my friends, it is the next day. Have you ever seen anyone drag out a wardrobe clear out this much? I'm gonna try everything on. Now there's quite a bit to try on and I'm assuming this video is probably pretty long already. So I'm gonna do just a yes or no. Yes means I'm keeping it. No means I'm passing it on, whether that be charity, Depop or to my sister. Sophie's already been at the piles and taken about six different things. She's even taken things from the pile that was just going into storage. So I hope I get those back. I'm gonna start with the trousers and skirts and then we'll go on to the dresses. And also if you've made it this far into the video, it would be awesome if you could go over and check out my welcome home channel if you haven't already. If you've kind of maybe seen me talking about it or maybe you haven't at all and you're like, what, why? I'll link the video down below where I talk about it. But essentially I am filming a bunch of house tours. I have some really awesome renovation projects that I'm following of other people's. The channel is run by myself and an awesome team of women. It's so exciting. And yeah, I have some really cool things coming up on the channel in the next, well, literally in the next couple of weeks, some cool things are being announced. And it's just like slowly evolving and growing. And it's really exciting. Property is something that I've always been super interested in. And yeah, I'd love it if you go and check it out. Um, if you're into that, if you're not, like literally don't even worry about it. But yeah, let's try these on. Okay, so these are the Aritzia trousers. I really like them. They just need to be a bit tighter around the waist. I might see if my seamstress just can alter them because they are a different shape to the mango ones but the only thing is then when I put on shoes like they're properly jack ups I'm like is it worth me paying to get them altered because am I gonna wear them or am I just gonna pick my mango ones every time but these are a different cut like these are more straight leg. I said I wasn't going to talk about it. I'm going to see if she can alter them, if she can, keep, if she can't, I'll pop them on Depop. These are going on Depop. I put them on and I just don't love the waist on them. This needs to be altered. I'm keeping it. These are a keep. I'm going to get these altered because I never wear them because of how baggy they are, but I feel like if they actually fitted me around the waist, I would wear them all the time because I love the length. They were fine from the front, but no. Oh, this looks fine now. Amazing. See, I love it, but it's so short. I wish it was longer. I'm gonna put this in storage and I will try it on next year and see. This is a keep. I haven't even done it up, but I already know. This is great, this is a keep. It's so cute but it's so short. I love it, I think it's so cute. I feel like I wanna love it, but I like the sleeves are just not, yeah. No, this is gonna go on Depop, which is a shame. I think this is gonna be one that gets put away in storage, and if I miss it, then I won't get rid, but if I do miss it, then I'll pass it on. Oh, it's awful. You know when you just really wanna love something, but it's just not right? Like, I don't think I've ever put on a more unflattering play suit in my life. This again is another dress that I wore a lot when I spent a lot of time in LA because it's just great, but it's short. But for going out for like brunch or whatever, especially this time of year, it's a bit of a weird one because everyone dresses like winter, but not like covered up. I edit all of my hauls and all I say is it's just so easy. And I'm like, ah, oh, Emily, make an effort. I really just don't feel like myself in clothes like this. It's partly because it's silver, I think, but I wouldn't like this in gold. So I don't know why. I'm saying that. See, it's so cute, but it's almost like, when would I even wear that? Because I just don't think I'd pick it over my other evening dresses. No, that's going on Depop. I bought this dress in 2019 for Halloween and never ended up living out the Halloween plans, which is such a shame. Is there blue on my armpits from that dress? What the heck? Anyway, uh, I just don't, I haven't worn it. I don't feel very much like me in it. I don't think I will wear it, but it's just something I've kept in my closet just in case. I have the longer version, which I have worn and will wear, but I paid a lot of money for this and I'm just like, if I'm not gonna wear it, I should definitely pass it on. It's the most stuns dress. I just, it's not very me. Oh, it's so cute. I think I'm gonna keep this out because I'm going away with some friends and I think this might be appropriate. Either way, how gorgeous is this? It's from Zara. I don't think I've actually had the chance to wear it yet, but I really like it. And finally, this dress, which I was obviously never getting rid of. This was my million subscriber dress. I just wanted to try it on for memes. It's a very strange dress. Like I said, I pinned it at the party. I kind of pinned it like, like that which I personally think looks so much cuter. I think this looks a bit weird. It kind of accentuates my belly in a very strange way, but I mean, maybe I might get my seamstress to pin that, like just like put a stitch in there because I personally think this looks so much cuter. I actually might get her to do that if she's doing the rest anyway and I'll probably wear it more often. I just don't reach for it because it's a bit fussy having to remember to kind of pin it and keep it like that, but I'll see what she can do. But either way, it's such a gorgeous dress. So guys, that is my massive closet clear out ready to move. If you wanna follow on with my journey, make sure you follow me over on Instagram because things kind of are like real time then. They're like a week or so behind on hip 
on here yeah so if you want to know what's going down then make sure you head over to my instagram subscribe if you want to see more and some of the pieces that i said i'm passing on will be over on my depop and i will see you soon bye thank you for watching